Hi guys, how we doing? Sorry it's been a bit since I've got anybody, got anything going. Um, today we are going to be working on this poor pitiful guy. We are, I'm lovingly calling him Frankenfrog. I have almost all of his pieces, which you can see he does fit together. He's kind of in pitiful condition right now. We're going to see if we can bring him back to life by reattaching these pieces. And then once he's reattached, we will focus on the missing piece here and filling in some of these chunks that have gotten missed. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with wonderful concrete repair glue. And let's see if we can give him just a little bit of a longer lifespan. Let's take him back apart. Now, normally I would spend a lot more time cleaning a product with a project like this. But as you can see, he is really delicate. And I'm afraid scrubbing at him might pull more chunks off. So this is not the most scientific way to go about this, but the stuff does not come out easily. Um, I've had a lot of luck using this particular product to at least start the process of putting something back together. And it seems to do well. It takes it about 24 hours to dry, so once we get him pieced together, he's going to have to wait a little bit before I can figure out how I'm going to start replacing his missing pieces. And if we get him successfully put back together, he has a friend that is a little rabbit missing ears that we're going to figure out how to put her back together a little bit. But this should at least start the process of hoping, holding him together a bit. I do recommend wearing gloves doing this. I personally always keep handy dandy paper towels. anybody has any suggestions for something to call him that you might fi find more fitting than Frankenfrog, I'm definitely game to hear them. So he is back on. He has a head and you can see he is missing a chunk back here as well. So I will probably be putting using a plaster and concrete mix to start piecing him back together. Once we get the worst of the cracks filled in. So we are going to come back here. And just kind of go in like that. And fill in some of these spots where he's missing chunks. This stuff is quite handy. It's basically like a concrete glue. Only problem is once in a while, because it is actually mixed with real concrete, you do get rocks stuck in there that don't want to come out. So you have to be a little heavy handed with your tube. But it does work quite well for going in and filling in those spaces. And then once this part dries, it's 
not the most scientific approach, but it has worked for me very well in the past as I've taken pieces and put them back together. It's kind of my own fun version of a puzzle. I'd love to know what happened to this poor guy. Seeing as he's he was found in my brother's backyard in his new property. So they brought him to me to see if I could maybe bring him back to life. And I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with him if once I get him put back together, if I'm going to sell him or if he's going to live in my garden. Could go either way there. But we are starting to get a nice solid foundation for him so that maybe his little head will stay on. And then once we get that done, we'll put his eye back on because he's looking a little bizarre with no eye. See? It is nice to have my table back. Though I will be going through this process with the match to the planter that sat on my table for so long. She's not nearly in this rough of shape. She just has a couple of cracks that actually this is what I'll be using on as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're just trying to get filled in and I can always go through with some sandpaper or my Dremel and put her back fully together and take all the excess off. And I will probably go over this whole thing with a thin coat of a plaster and concrete mix just because he's so, so delicate at this point. I have no idea how old he might be. But I think he's going to be very cute when he's finished. his head off. So he is going to have to sit here and basically be left alone for the next day, which is fine. Sometimes you just gotta. Do I have a stuck rock in here? When you're doing this type of thing, patience is definitely a virtue. And there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I love the projects like this that just need so much love. The sorts of things that most people would just throw away. I see a wonderful challenge. Get in there. Go a little more heavily in there. Let's 
So I am going to stop here for the moment. I will be back very shortly with attaching his eye, but you can see he's at least pretty solidly got his head back on his shoulders. And here in a minute we'll come back and start attaching his eye and we'll start at re facing some of these major cracks that he's got going so that he doesn't fall apart any farther. But for the moment, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you guys next time.